So in this video I'm going to cover my boat electrical system which I've designed to fit into a standard battery box. You can see there's an adder battery kit, there's a disconnect for the adder battery kit, there's the ACR, then there's the electrical system wiring including ground, outboard positive and house battery positive. So there are two batteries, one is a start battery and the other is a house battery. And here's what the diagram looks like. This is a standard adder battery kit. Um, I have not added the ignition switch, so this part is deleted. I have added all these circuits exactly as shown, including this optional switch and this plug with a fuse. It's a standard glass fuse. And here's what the fuse looks like. And that runs straight to the ACR ground and all these connectors are basically hammered into shape they're basically crimp connections so they're hammered in I didn't even bother soldering them because hammering a connection like this makes a very tight fit so there it is um, I've added one more circuit here which is the house battery which I want to charge I want to charge both these batteries this one and this one with the 110 volt charger so what I've done is I've added a charger across these two terminals and here is my charger and look at it it fits nicely into the battery box and you can see it's glowing nicely and it's set to 2 amps of charge right now I've added a little protection for it which is this wooden piece here and it connects straight across the terminals and that is my start battery the ACR basically equalizes the voltages once it detects the house battery being charged so the start battery also gets charged through the same 110 volt connection and here I am hooking it up So in order to connect the batteries, we do red then black and we are disconnecting its black then red. So first I get my red cables for my start battery. to the positive red Also have a ground from start, which is the negative, and I have one more ground, which is to the other battery. My adder battery kit is set to off and I also break the connection using the disconnect switch. So you can see this comes out, this is a Sea Dog standard disconnect. So now I know my circuit is definitely broken. I then connect the house positive. And 
and similarly I was positive I've put white labels on the wires to differentiate them you notice the color codes are wrong but that is because I didn't have an enough cable of one type so to improvise I then connect the final switch, which is, I mean, the final cable. Which is my house ground. I then take the on off disconnect and engage it. The circuit is live. And I switch the circuit on. Basically makes everything live. I then run my motor down so I can see the circuit is live and work functioning correctly. I then test it out with my voltmeter here. Make sure I actually get good voltage across both the house and ground leads. And I connect it to 200 volts just in case. And we want to see if we are getting good voltage across the leads. And you can see I'm getting 12.5 volts, so it's functioning correctly to the outboard lead. And I click it on the house, and you get 12.6. So it's all good. And if we remove the charger you can still see it's got a green light and that shows the charger is also functioning correctly in the circuit and the circuit functions properly